another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about how to use VLOOKUP on multiple columns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So I have a list of movies here, showtimes, and their prices. And basically what I'm going to show you here is, for example, in the first instance, we want to do, okay, we want to figure out how much the ticket price is from the Jurassic World movie 3D at 20 hundred, so at 8 p.m. So how much does that ticket cost? Well, if we use VLOOKUP in the traditional sense, we would just type in VLOOKUP, our lookup value, which is Jurassic World, comma, our table array, which would be B2 to D6. And then we're looking in the third column for the ticket price. And then we would put false for an exact match. Now we hit enter. And as you can see, it gave me $6, which is technically true. It does cost $6, just not at 20 hundred. So how do we fix this problem? Well, VLOOKUP can't really use two columns. It can't reference two different things unless you tweak the syntax just a little bit. So we're going to go into the formula bar here and I'm going to use the ampersand. It's actually called a concatenant and it's tough to pronounce, but it's a concatenant operator and it helps VLOOKUP look into multiple columns to satisfy our criteria. So I'm simply going to hit and C11. So now I'm including the time 20 hundred as part of my criteria and always make sure you get rid of this false right here because we need to use true, uh, which is the default for the VLOOKUP function. So in this case, we want it to be true. Otherwise, the formula will not work. Uh, true just means that we're looking for an approximate match versus false, which is an exact match. Um, let me just make sure that's right. Yep. False is exact match and true is an approximate match. So anyway, we hit enter here. And as you can see, we have $8 as our price. Um, now that we put the referencing the B11 and C11, uh, VLOOKUP is now thinking, okay, I'm looking for Jurassic World 3D and I'm looking for 20 hundred at the same time. So it satisfies that. And then we get ticket price as $8 per ticket. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.